Hey everybody, Seb here, and it's been a while. Today, I want to introduce you to the all-new Mini Marks. I started working on this new version back in April. Uh, I've been working about 16 hours a day on this. I have no life, and um, I think you're going to like it, so let's dive in. So when you first log on, you'll be greeted with our inbox. This is where bookmarks get added when you use our browser extension. You can also add a bookmark manually very easily, like so. You can drag it and move it where you like. And when you're ready to organize your bookmark, you can just place it into any board you like, like so. Now boards used to be called spaces, and now they live in a sidebar, which makes it easy to navigate. Now when you click on a board, you'll find, of course, the bookmark that we just moved here. And you'll notice it's not in a section yet, so we can move it anywhere we like. And just like so, it's been placed in a section. Now you can add bookmarks into an existing section like so, and drag and drop very easily. Now, just like in the old app, you can still turn your sections into a grid, just like so, and have that compact look and feel. Now, let's revert that back. Now, the next thing I want to show you is notes. You can double click a bookmark to reveal the bookmark tray. This has certain metadata, such as when you created the bookmark and when you last edited the bookmark. And a neat little feature that lets you track changes on a page. So you can be notified within Minimarks anytime the page is updated. When you click Notes, you'll be able to add one very easily. And this is what they look like. Isn't that beautiful? Now you can also see that there is a one next to the bookmark to signal that there is a note attached to it. To edit a bookmark, you can just press and hold to toggle edit mode then just click edit. Bookmarks can have a title of course, but you can also now set a custom icon very easily using this little input. So you just click here, select an image, and it'll replace the default favicon. You can also add tags to your bookmarks, which makes it easy to find later on. So there's my tag and I can search for interesting bookmarks uh, just like that. Now, if you want to change the color of your tag, you can do that as well. It's very intuitive. Bookmarks can also have descriptions. So when you edit the bookmark, You can add a description and see it within the bubble. Now, if you want to see your bookmarks as a list, all you have to do is click the list toolbar item. And now you'll see full length titles, which makes it easier sometimes to find what you're looking for. Now in the past, Minimarks let you share collections with your team. I changed that and made it easier than ever to share bookmarks. So now you can share entire boards to do that. Just go here, click share, and just type in the name or email of your team member or anyone you've previously shared a board with. Click add, and just like that, you are now sharing the entire board with them. Now the new Minimarks also has a dock, which makes it easy to pin bookmarks you want to access more frequently. To pin a bookmark to the dock, press and hold, and then click pin. And just like so, the bookmark will be added to your dock. You can then add additional bookmarks very easily by simply dropping them inside the dock, just like so. And the dock is independent of the board. 
So as you navigate away from the board, you'll still have your bookmarks for easy access. And now that we're in the inbox, we can go ahead and add more items to our dock, just like so. You can even use shortcuts such as Shift-1, Shift-2, Shift-3 to open the different bookmarks on your dock. Now let's take a look at one of my actual boards that I use. As you can see, it's very color rich and I've got different collections that I can refer to easily. Now this one isn't really a thing anymore, so we can just delete it. And just like in the old app, you can drag and drop bookmarks. You can add bookmarks to specific sections and you can move bookmarks between sections just like so. Now let's go ahead and change the background image. To do this, go to settings, background, and in just one click, you can set a new background image. This also automatically senses the brightness of the image and adjusts the mode from light to dark as needed. You can navigate the entire UI using your keyboard. Simply hit tab and then use your arrow keys and then enter to open a board. Now, if you hit tab and you hit tab again, you can navigate your bookmarks using your arrow keys and just press enter when you want to open one. You can also hit E to edit a bookmark while it's selected. All right, now let's go ahead and create a board from scratch. All you have to do is click here, paste in your title. We're going to go ahead and select a fun icon. How about this one? We'll move the board up here. In the new mini marks, you can add multiple bookmarks at once, complete with sections. All you have to do is click here. And I've got some fun links already saved here. And I can paste them in like so. And when you're ready, click Add. This might take a few seconds, of course, because it's fetching all the icons and all the metadata for all the sites. But just like that, we've added 20 bookmarks complete with sections. Now, before I go, I want to show you two new apps I'm working on that I think you're going to like. This is Canbase and it's a project management tool for the rest of us. It's not cluttered, it's not complicated, and it just works. You can move your cards from left to right. You can add checklists. You can add details. You can even add notes. And of course, it's collaborative, so you can work remotely with your team. Now, the next app I want to show you is called Stixie. Stixy is also in beta, and it's a reimagined Sticky app for the web. You have boards, and you have stickies. You can create lists, and you can even tally numbers very easily. And this has been a quick look at the brand new mini marks. I have a lot more to show you, so I hope you'll stick around. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's a free way to support my work and it means a lot to me. Stixy and Canbase, my new apps, are available for pre-sale right now. You can pick up a license over at bidzag.com. And, and by, by the way, if you join our Discord group and apply to become a beta member, you can try the apps before they come out. Just dropping a hint. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon, and um, yeah, I hope you stick around.